This is our benefit latte art throwdown here at the yard. Joe Bean Coffee Roasters is the host for the event, and uh, we're also one of the co-partners for the project uh, that the benefit is for, which is the Los Nobos Community School in Nicaragua. We're noticing that we're getting a lot more range in the baristas and in the competitors, and uh, we're getting a lot more support from the community now, so it's pretty exciting for us. Got myself into a latte art throwdown. Never done this before, never, never, never even been to a competition before. But I've been messing around doing some lots here, so I figured it'd be worth a shot. It'd be fun. I fragged a little bit. I took the machine home that we're using here. So of course I got a couple gallons of milk. So you know, maybe it's cheating. I don't care. I had to practice. Let's give it up for uh, Eric and Todd, ladies and gentlemen. We just donated two machines, Gaja TS machines, because they're 110 volt, easily portable, great steam pressure, so it's a perfect machine for up here. We're up second floor in a place called the Public Market in Rochester, New York, and uh, there's no power here for what we needed to do, so that worked out perfect. We got the new E92 Chiato grinder, uh, first time being used in the U.S. here. Uh, conical burr grinder, I absolutely love it. So it's be fun to get that in the hands of these baristas and see what they think of it. My chances aren't good. No, no not good, but it's okay. It'll be fun, I'm looking forward to doing it. A little bit of a focus, there it is. Now we got it. Right. Really good. Look at this. I always have throwdown nerves. Um, always, always, always. And if I don't make it past, you know, if I make it past the first round, I usually do really well. But uh, I get really nervous. And so uh, having a few people around you to tell you, remind you to calm down, that you're just pouring a latte, you're not trying to save the world, <laughs> it's a big help. We gotta, we, at Joe Bean, we have like a little network of tutors who like will come around you and like uh, calm down, calm down, you know. That's number one. Number two, though, is like feel the vibe. You know, there's a whole vibe going on here. There's like, it's like a whole party going on here. And so, like, just be part of it. Don't like see yourself as like the act. Don't see yourself as the entertainment or like the competitor. You're just part of the party. So, uh, those would be my two most important tips. Okay, well, I, well, I squeaked by the first round, and then I had a great one the second round. I mean, I nailed it. But the guy who went was Wade from Joe Bean Coffee, and he rocked it, and he kicked my ass. But it, it, it was a good one. I felt good. It was a blast, so it was a lot of fun. I'll do it again. I'm going to practice, and I'm coming back strong. I hope. Always feels great to win. Really more than anything, it's just fun to pour. Even if you pour terribly, like everyone gets excited, you know, and that kind of excitement for an event like this especially is just like, it's what I live for. So I'm super excited to have won, but anyway, either way, I would have been really happy with this event. It's a culture, and the culture will totally support you. And the culture will, uh, will help you get it and help you, you know, learn and do whatever you want. Uh, we always want more participants, so get after it. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the crowd and everyone. Thanks to all of our baristas tonight. Thanks to all of you. Thanks to Toby. Thanks to our sponsors.